Hi, my name is Sonali and I will be talking to you about working with BAM files in Bioconductor. The topics that I will be covering today are the GeoAlignments class and the read GeoAlignments function from the Genomic Alignment package. I will also be showing you various examples of restricting reads while reading in from a BAM file. So let's start with our demo. Our demo requires three packages. Uh, one of them is an experiment data package which contains eight BAM files and the other two are software packages. Let's read in the path for the first BAM trial into this variable called BAM file. And then I'm going to read in the data from the BAM file into this variable called GAL. Now, GAL is actually a GeoAlignments object, which is nothing but a vector-like object where each element describes a genomic alignment. That is how a given sequence typically called query or read, aligns to a reference sequence, which is usually long. Each element of the G-alignments object consists of the name of the reference sequence. This is the R name field in the SAMBAM record, the strand in the reference sequence to which the query is aligned, the cigar string, which is in the extended cigar format, the start and the end, which is the one based leftmost position coordinate and the one based rightmost position coordinate of the clipped query relative to the re reference sequence, and other um, additional parameters that you can read in, read in if you like. To find out more about this object, let's look up its help page. Here you can read. You can scroll through it and read through. There are a couple of examples also found here. If you had your own BAM file, you would probably use file.path and specify the exact location of your BAM file, just like I have shown in these commented out functions here. There are actually several accessor functions also available. For example, uh, length, strand, and again, you can find them in, uh, you can actually find all these accessor functions here. And for example, if I wanted to find out the number of alignments in GAL, I would simply do length of GAL. I can also get the strand for each alignment in GAL by using strand GAL. And uh, then to find get a count of the total number of reads aligned to the positive strand and the total number of reads aligned to the negative strand, I can just use a table on that. And uh, as you can see that the GAL is actually um, RLE. To find out more about the RLE, I highly recommend looking up the vignettes for the Bioconductor Package iRanges. Um, let's proceed to the second part about our demo, where I'm going to talk about how we can restrict input while reading in from a BAM file. So we're going to use scan BAM param here. Scan BAM param um, is actually a parameter object influencing what fields and which records are imported from a BAM file. The use of which requires that a BAM index file typically ending with .bai exists. Um, flag on the other hand can be specified using this constructor called scan BAM flag. It helps us specify whether the reads that we want to be read in are paired or not, have passed quality control or not, or are on the positive strand or not. So I'm going to show you an example here where I want to read in reads from a particular region. And I want to read in the seek as well as the quality read parameters apart from the uh, default columns. To find out all the columns that you can read in from the BAM file, uh, one can use scan BAM what. So these are the various fields that you can read in from a given BAM file. Let's construct um, a small G-ranges object containing the ranges from which we want to read in uh, data from our BAM file. This is how the G-ranges look. And I'm going to use this variable called seek underscore gal, which will actually store the data from the, the GR, G ranges object, and the seek and the call columns. So as you can see, the seek underscore gal contains data only from the ranges that I had specified. 
and it in addition it contains the sequence of the reads as well as the fred quality score for each one of them um, now i'm going to show you a third example about reading and data only from the positive strand this can be done using the flag field so i am just going to use scan bank flag and set the minus strand equal to false and if you look at pos underscore gal you will be able to see that the strands, uh, the reads contained in this object are only from the positive strand. Here is some additional information which can help you. I highly recommend going through the vignette of RSAM tools and vignette of genomic data. They have excellent examples of catering to all your specific requirements. And uh, this is a reference for the experiment data package that I used. Thank you.